Okay, I'm going to take you through the Bioman Bio Succession Interactive. So in case you have trouble, you know how to do it. Okay, so you're going to click the link and it's going to be in the assignment. And when you're doing it from class, it's going to be in chat. Okay, so when you get to it, it's going to look like this. What you're going to start with is start a new game. Okay, so click start a new game. When you do, you need to do these things in order. Primary succession first, secondary succession next, then the quiz, then the score sheet and save game. Okay, so I'm going to walk you through primary succession. So it's going to give you information. You're going to read it. Below you will see a volcanic island forming in the ocean. Notice that once it cools, it is just bare rock with no life and no soil. Now click continue. Now the process of colonization by life will begin. The changes in species composition in an area over time is called succession. When this process happens in a place with no life and no soil, it is called primary succession. Click continue. In the rest of this interactive experience, you will make primary succession happen on this new island and see how it changes over time. Each organism has different requirements for survival. For this reason, succession is an orderly process. Click continue. You will need to choose from various organisms. You can click on each one to learn more about it. Then you will make decisions about the order in which they will colonize the island. If you are unsuccessful, try again until you get it. Take notes on the order of events and why certain organisms are able to be successful at certain times, but not at other times. There will be questions to evaluate your learning at the end, so be observant and think carefully about the process. Click continue. All right, now it says click on the organisms to learn more about them. Then choose the first organism to colonize your island. So let's see, if I click on lichens, it says lichens consist of both an algae and a fungus that live together in a mutualistic symbiosis. They can grow on bare rock because the fungus can anchor to the rock and break it down bit by bit with acids that it makes. The algae does photosynthesis. Lichens can arrive on your island by being carried by wind, water, or animals. So let's start this. Some lichens blow onto your island and begin to grow. Lichens are great pioneer species because they can grow on bare rock. A pioneer species is the first species to colonize an area. Lichens will begin to break down the rock and form soil, paving the way for future species. Now I click continue. All right, so now I have to pick what comes next. So let's just say I pick pollinators, okay? And I add pollinators. So it says pollinators help flowering plants to reproduce. They often rely on flowers. Oh, no, I don't have flowers for their food. So they have a mutualistic relationship with them. Since you do not have flowers on your island, pollinators cannot survive. Okay, so let's try and put flowers. And let's oh, add flowers. Some flower seeds arrive as birds drop them on your island, but there's not enough soil. Oh, no, so the flowers don't survive. So, okay, let's go back to the beginning. I need soil. All right, so let's try mosses. Mosses are simple plants that live in moist environments. They don't have roots, but can anchor on things. Oh, that's good. Having a little soil can be beneficial. So we had those lichens, so maybe they'll survive. So moss spores are blown by the wind to your island. Several generations of lichens have broken down the rock and produced enough soil, yay, for, to allow the mosses to grow. Mosses outcompete the lichens, and the number of lichens decreases. As the mosses grow and die, they will continue to build up the amount of soil. Okay, perfect. Well, pollinators, I, I know I don't have flowers yet, so I can't have pollinators. So let's try flowers now. Uh, so let's see, some flower seeds arrive um, and birds drop them on your island. Yay, the soil's deep enough, so they grow, okay? Um, but it says they'll need to be pollinated. So now I can bring my pollinators, okay? And since I have flowers, the pollinators thrive, okay? Uh, which is awesome. So this time my pollinators didn't die. Now let's go back. 
Uh, let's see, I probably need to have some grasses, right? Um, so let's try grasses. So they produce many seeds, they spread rapidly, they build up the soil. Oh, perfect. Grasses building up the soil. That's awesome. So grasses are going to outcompete the mosses and kind of take over. That's okay. Now let's look. I only have mostly plants except for pollinators. I probably need some other consumers. So primary consumers eat producers, they eat plants, they produce waste and make the soil more fertile. There has to be enough plant life to support them. Well, I have grasses and I have flowers. All right, let's try it. So your island has plenty of plants. Hey, so the primary consumers do survive. All right, so what do I have left? I didn't add bushes and I didn't add trees. So let's try and add the secondary consumers. Uh, secondary eat primary. Yep, so I do have primary. Uh, so they ride in a log, carry from the storm. They're able to eat the primary consumers. Perfect. All right, so what about those tertiary consumers? They eat the secondary ones, right? Oh, no, but they don't have the right habitat. Okay, so they were the right animals, but not the right habitat. So I added lichens, then mosses, then flowers and grasses. I probably need to add these. So bushes, okay. So, oh, perfect. Lots of soil for the bushes to grow and awesome. Oh, those birds probably need high enough trees, right? So I probably have to add the trees first before I can add the tertiary consumers. So let's try that. Let's add those trees. Perfect, they had enough soil. So I did add lichens and then I added mosses and then I added flowers and pollinators and primary consumers, grasses, secondary. All right, tertiary, I think this might be it. So add those tertiary consumers, yes. Finally, they became established. So click continue. You have reached the Climax community. This is your stable community. Click to enjoy it and observe it. There you go. Look at that beautiful Climax community. Through the process of primary succession. So you completed the process of primary succession, starting with barren rock, no soil at all, and ending with Climax community. So now we're going to go back to the main menu. We did primary succession. Now you have to do secondary succession. So when I begin with an area that already has life and soil, like we just built, like your climax community shown below. But then disaster strikes. Your ecosystem is disrupted by a fire. Oh no, this is terrible. When a, an environment is disrupted by a natural disaster or human activity, the community must be rebuilt. This process of rebuilding is called secondary succession. Why? Because there is still soil present. You will have to make secondary succession happen, but remember, you already have your soil, so your pioneer species can be different. Okay, so I'm going to have the same menu again, but remember, I started with soil, so I don't need to make the soil in the beginning. Okay, so I'm going to pause this and go through this process because this one I want you to practice on your own and then I'll show you where, um, what to do next. Okay, here we go. I reached my Climax community. So this is a stable community and um, observe it. So click continue. So I've completed the process of secondary succession, which is the rebuilding of a community after disrupted. Notice it was faster. Why? Because we already had soil. So now I'm gonna go to the main menu. And I'm going to click quiz. Quiz is next. I'm going to pause it here while I complete the quiz so then I can show you what to do. I just want to show you when you get to this question, you need to just drag these around. So if I think lichens are the first to appear, it doesn't matter how much space is between them. And I know trees are last. So lichens would be first, trees would be last. And then I can move these around as I feel um, is appropriate. Also, for every question you get, you're going to first choose an answer. So how do lichens alter the abiotic environment? I think this. So I need to click Submit Response. It's going to tell me if I'm right. And then I click Next to go to the next question. Okay. 
Okay, I'm at the end of the quiz. Now I'm going to show you what to do next. Return to main menu. I did primary succession. I did secondary succession. I did quiz. Now I'm going to go here. I'm going to put uh, my first name, my last name, and now I wanted to submit a score to your teacher. Okay, I need to enter my teacher's email address, which is, in this case, D, oops, D, M, boom, F. Check this email. Yes, your teacher is registered. Click continue. Now, here's where I need to enter my information. So, Mrs. Jenkins, class period, so either three or five. Okay, put the right one and then click here. Looks like right, upload this score. Congratulations, that's it. You can return to score sheet if you want. You can see what your score was and that's it. Okay, that's how you complete the Bioman succession interactivity.